What's up everybody? So with the fact that for some reason everybody decided to hold toilet paper of all things, I thought it would be a good idea to get my wife and I a bit it. Fortunately, I was able to find all the parts you need to build your own beaded sprayer and it's pretty simple. The first thing you will need is a beaded sprayer head. Now I know it looks a lot like a kitchen sprayer head. However, it's a bit different because this has an adjustable sprayer to it. And then you're going to need a T-valve. This is what you hook up to your water line and it's what allows you to separate the water between your toilet and the beaded sprayer. You're also going to need a beaded holder. This can mount to the wall or jaws hangs from your toilet tank. And the last thing you will need is a flexible so the first thing you want to do is leave the blue plastic covers on and then here on this barrel shutting you do want to remove the blue plastic cap and then inside you will notice that there is a rubber washer inside and that's what stops the water from leaking you don't need to use plumbers tape anymore now go ahead and grab your beaded sprayer handle and just hand tighten it and once you got that done just set it to the side for now Next, you need to grab a towel or a bowl and sit underneath your water line and then go ahead and turn your water off. If you're not sure where your water line is, it's usually behind your toilet located near the floor. Now one thing I want to point out is to make sure that you don't over tighten it like it appears I'm doing here in the video. After that, flush your toilet onto all the water drained or at least as much as the water as you can. In my case, there was still about a 10 mil left, but that was perfectly fine. Next, we're going to go to the underside of the toilet tank and we're going to go ahead and unscrew the water line. Then we're going to grab our T-valve and take one of the rubber washers that came with it and place it right in the top of it and screw it into place nice and firm with your hand and a wrench. Now you may need to untighten the plastic when not on the underside of your toilet tank to get this to sit in the right position. Then grab the original water hose that you just took off the underside of the toilet tank and hand tighten it or use wrench right onto the underside of the T-valve. And now you want to grab the new hose that you bought and take off the last blue plastic cap and making sure that there is a rubber washer inside. You're going to go ahead and tighten that up to the last part of the T-valve. You just need to hand tighten this. And you shouldn't need many tools for this project. The last thing you got to do is grab your beaded holder and hang it from the toilet tank. You can also mount this to the wall if you like, which would be a much sturdier option. Alright, now go ahead and turn on the water and test out your new bidet. Now if you want to adjust the flow of the water, turn the T-valve all the way facing up. That puts it on full power and all the way facing down is turned off. A couple of things that I thought were worth mentioning here is that the hose is extremely long. It's a 1.2 meter long hose so it does uh, stick out the back of the toilet so that might bug certain people. Another thing is that the bead holder that I got seems very cheap and flimsy especially when I mount it to the toilet. So if you do get this one you might want to mount it to the wall instead. But yes guys, if you like this video do us a huge favor and give us a thumbs up that really helps us out right now maybe consider subscribing and i'll talk to you next time